Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily G and if you haven't been here before, today we're doing another vlog because you guys have been asking for more like daily, weekly vlogs and I feel like I kind of started vlogging a lot in my new condo when I first moved in and now I feel like I haven't really vlogged a lot like actually doing day-to-day -day things here. Um, the last vlog I posted was in Dallas. The one before that I don't even know what it was. So here we are today. I don't know if this is going to carry on until tomorrow, if it's going to end tonight or just going to go with the flow. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I did just film this makeup look. It's about 1230 on a Tuesday and I needed to get this look up for you guys because you guys have been asking for it. So it's this fall super easy smoky eye kind of full glam but like it's so easy. I know it looks more intense but I swear anyone can do this look and I just that will be up before this vlog. So if you guys want to watch that, I will put it at the top for you guys. You can click the little eye button and it will take you straight to that video. Um, but the only thing is we're gonna start this vlog you can tell that my condo is quite messy per usual I don't know what goes on I swear like I clean it it looks perfect it's beautiful I love a clean home and then two days later it's just like a tornado totally came through it again and then I clean it again it's just a whole cycle and I know that's normal but I feel like mine is just like to an extreme I really don't know how it gets so messy I have a theory that it's just like I'm always leaving and coming leaving coming with bags full of crap and then every time i come home i just kind of throw it everywhere until i clean it the next time um i also don't have a washing machine yet so every time i do laundry i'm like bringing clothes from back and forth from my parents house to do laundry and it's just a whole thing so i guess for the majority of this vlog so actually first i'm gonna go make some lunch because i'm starving and i haven't ate since breakfast um i'm gonna do that and then i'm probably gonna actually start cleaning stuff up i do have a bunch of stuff from lululemon to show you guys so thank you to lululemon for sponsoring this video i can't even believe i just said that like lululemon is such an og brand i've been wearing it since middle school like i remember getting my first pair of lululemon leggings in middle school and it's just like the coolest thing it was like when it was all hot and the rage and they're expensive but they literally last you so long like i have lululemon stuff from middle school still that i wear to this day when i used to dance in high school that's all i would wear to dance i have so many lululemon tops and like sports bras and sports workout stuff and then once they came out with the line leggings like those are my favorite go-to leggings but I have some really new cute stuff to show you guys from them so stay tuned to see a mini lululemon haul later on this vlog but I need to go eat <laughs> tuna fish well like batch making it um let me get in better light here i know my kitchen is so dark like i wish i could film way more like cooking and kitchen videos because i'm like really into it but you can tell like how dark it is because all my windows are over there and it's kind of like blocked off in its own area so i've been meaning to change out light bulbs hoping that would fix it but besides the point so i finished my tuna fish that i make and this is something i make almost every week and i wanted to share with you guys because it's like so easy and i think you guys would love it if you like tuna fish um so you guys obviously saw everything i put in it that changes all the time i really like green onion in my tuna fish 
Sometimes I don't put any celery or onion. If I don't have any, I'll just do the tuna with like the salt, pepper, lemon. That sriracha mayo is like the best thing in the world. If you guys like a little bit of spice, it's not super spicy. It just gives it such great flavor and it's actually, the ingredients on it are amazing. Obviously didn't have a ton of that left, so I put a little bit of veganaise in it. You could also do veganaise in Red Hot and I feel like that kind of mimics the sriracha mayo if you don't have that on hand. And this will last me throughout the whole week. I'll either eat it plain throughout the day, um, I'll pack it to lunch if I'm going somewhere, or right now I'm toasting some thin sliced organic white toast and then I'll put this on there like a little tuna sandwich. So I'm going to do that for lunch, eat that. My camera's going to die and I really need to clean so I think I'm going to try and clean like power clean for a good hour or so um, while my camera's charging and then I can show you guys what I got from Lululemon and then I actually have to leave here. What time is it? I have to leave here in about an hour and a half, so that's perfect. I'm gonna eat, try and clean for an hour, and then I will check in with you guys, and hopefully my condo won't look like this, with clutter and clothes everywhere. And upstairs even worse, I'm not even gonna show you up there, but hopefully when I check back in, it will be spotless. All right guys, it's been a little bit later, but I actually didn't get to clean up too much, so I'm gonna finish that up after I show you guys these Lululemon pieces, but I wanted to show you them now because one, I'm really excited and I have to leave here soon, so I wanted to try them all on and like show them to you guys piece by piece in the mirror. So, this is the first little outfit. I tried to kind of put like a full completed outfit together and like pick a bunch of different pieces to show you guys. A lot of these pieces I have bought in the past like over and over again so I really really know how these work and wear well for all different activities so the first thing I got is this white little sports bra um, I'll put the name of all the pieces on the screen too like the exact names but this one's so cute it has like the super crazy crisscross back I love the white it just makes you look like very tan and I don't know I like the clean lighter colors and I like the kind of dip of this I don't have a big chest so I kind of like to emphasize that a little bit if I can you can wear this for everything and I know it's funny because I have like full glam makeup on right now but whatever and then the next thing I got are these leggings these are the wonder under leggings these are like their thicker kind of classic pair of leggings These loved this like light purpley color. This is actually new for fall and I'm obsessed. I think it looks really cute with the white and this literally sucks you in so nicely. I'm in a size zero and they actually just came out with size zeros. I used to be a size two and I'm really happy they have zeros now because I feel like it just fits me a lot more snug and I feel nice and secure in it. They make your booty look nice and cute. So I think this outfit together is amazing. I actually have to go to my personal trainer tomorrow morning and I think I'm gonna wear this little set. So next top I got, I actually am gonna throw right over this white sports bra. So this is the next top that I got and I actually just threw it right over that white sports bra. This is a long sleeve black, like pretty basic Lululemon top. They've had these tops forever. I have a lot of the tank styles when I used to dance but I don't have any long sleeve and I do live in Michigan, so it gets quite cold. So this would be perfect to wear to the gym in the winter. And then if I do get hot while actually working out, I can just take the long sleeve off and wear my sports bra because I normally do just train in a sports bra. Um, but when it gets cold out, you know, you want layers. I wear this with like jeans too, day to day. Like I love how Lululemon is kind of like, you can wear it so many different places all the time, day to day. It's really easy, just nice active wear to have and invest in. And then it also has these cute little like pocket holes on your hands, which I think is awesome. So what I want to mention about this top is this was actually extremely long and I am very short, so you can get everything hemmed for free. So I actually got this top like cropped essentially or hemmed. It was probably like down to here and it just, they hemmed it for free and it took like a couple days and then I went and picked it up and... There you go. So it's perfectly hemmed to fit me. And then also with these leggings, I actually got the cropped version because I'm so short. Um, the normal length is just too long and kind of like baggy on me. So I always get the cropped version. So if you guys are like five foot, five two-ish, you might want to try and go for the cropped leggings. So it's nice they have those options. They have so many different lengths, um, so many different sizes. And then if you still do need some type of hemming done, they'll do that all for free. Then I got a hat, which I'm so happy 
happy about is what the hat looks like and I'm really happy about this hat because if you guys don't know I recently got extensions and my hair is just a whole thing all the time so I really like wearing a hat when I go work out just because I feel like it kind of protects my hair styled for the week and I can just tie it up in a ponytail in the back and then have the hat on top and I feel like it just kind of holds everything together but I love this hat it's like a nice I don't even know how to explain the material but the Lululemon sign is right there nice black kind of almost waterproof type hat and I've been really into wearing baseball hats like day to day when I'm not wearing makeup and like running errands going out and doing things and you know I just feel like a little bit more secure with a hat on I don't know if that makes sense but I'm really happy with this one I'm actually gonna set you guys up to show you the next item so the last item that I got giant oversized puffer jacket i'm like this is probably my most favorite thing from this haul and they have so many cool jackets right now and i have nothing like this and you guys know i live in michigan it gets freezing and it's going to be really cold really soon now that it's october so i cannot wait to pull this out for the snowy days for running errands for you know doing holiday things like going downtown for floats and parades and all of that when it's literally freezing cold look how cool this jacket is it's like the almost metallic rusty orange red color they have this in black and like this blue shade but i have so many black jackets i was like you know what i'm gonna go for something a little bit different i think this looks amazing it looked really cool with like black leggings with this black top underneath and then this on top with like black little rain boots like i love it and the hat this is a whole look. I'm obsessed with this coat. They have so many other jackets on their website too. If you guys live in like a little bit more warmer areas, they have definitely more lightweight jackets, but also have these little like black tightening things sit from the air like flowing in. And then also one of my favorite parts is, you can't really see it. It's just like a cool style thing for you to notice. But it says Lululemon on the inside in white and I think that's so like sporty and cool so these are all the items I got from Lululemon it's like a whole look I tried to match everything together and kind of create a look so I'm really excited to actually wear these to my training session tomorrow but I have owned Lululemon for so long and I'm so excited to be working with them on this portion of the video so if you guys do want to shop anything that I just mentioned I will link everything down below item by item exactly that I got um, and then I'll also put other little notes on like if I got it hemmed so you guys can remember down below so if you're interested just check check the description box after this video and check it out all right well now that I showed you my cute little workout outfit I wish I could wear this but I actually have an appointment downtown at the lip bar to do some work with them for a little bit I have to be there at three o'clock it's two now so I have like a half hour before I have to leave swatches and stuff so I think I should put like jeans and like probably a tank or something so it's easy to do swatches on my arm or whatever they have to do I thought it was cold out but it's actually decent today here in Michigan it's been like back and forth all day it's 65 some of you guys are probably like that's freezing but it's like actually decently warm so maybe I'll just throw a jacket over um so I need to change and do that I'll take you guys with me and try and show you what I can I don't know I think we're going to their warehouse um so I don't know how much I'm actually able to show and then tonight I have a sales meeting at my mom's store if you guys don't know my mom owns a boutique and I've been helping her out lately a couple days a week so she has a meeting tonight with like all the employees so I need to go to that to kind of learn the schedule and things this is my first like sales meeting being a part of it even though you know i've always like i kind of know the inside scoop because obviously my mom runs it but i haven't actually sat in one as an employee before so i have that tonight all right guys a few minutes later i just got into a quick little <laughs> all black outfits um before i go down to the lip bar like my extensions are a little bit off right now because my hair is so fluffy <laughs> it keeps kind of showing through it's definitely a work in progress i'm wearing my merch so i wanted to give it a quick little shout out this is the blow a kiss tee it's super cute and flowy it's just like cute tucking it into anything and you can kind of like put it off the shoulder it reminds me of like a da dance t-shirt and then i have black leggings and these shiny chunky boots that i think are too big on me but it's almost like a vibe that they're too big so okay and then once we get back, do you guys want to see my room right now? First of all, we need to clean up that. We need to clean up this from filming today. Boxes. Old hanging rack. And I wanted to build this new clothing rack that I got over here. 
but I literally could not figure it out and normally I'm really good at this and this is from Amazon so I feel like the instructions are just so random. Um, so I'm going to try and find like a YouTube video on how to build this so I can get that done because this is a much sturdier one and whenever, whenever I have hauls or clothes that I want to show you guys I put them on my clothing rack in my office so they're like separated. Um, because I have these, I have a bunch of these, like, cheapo white ones, and you can, like, look, it's literally leaning right now without anything on it, so imagine when there's a bunch of clothes on it, it just, like, falls. Um, so I need to get rid of this. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing, like, I don't even know why I show you guys this. This is so bad. I was planning out, like, Halloween outfits, because I want to start filming those for you guys, plus, like, my actual Halloween look. These are actually all clean, I was just, like, sorting through them from this basket, because I left to see Kyle for the weekend, per usual, and I'm, like, trying to pack stuff last minute, so... We need to put all these clothes away. We need to organize my closet. These are all clothes that I'm either selling or don't want and I still don't know what to do with them because honestly selling my clothes has just been a lot of work and like not even worth it at this point. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I can totally just donate them, which I'd be more than happy to do, but then I feel like some of these are super nice clothes with tags still on them. I'd love to sell them to you guys. And my bathroom needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like this vlog is already like 30 minutes long and I've only been vlogging for a few hours. Um, so I'm gonna head downtown and I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes if I can. <sighs> We're finally leaving. It's so nice out. It's like golden and sunny and I've been inside all day by myself working. I'm gonna run and grab a tea at Starbucks, I think. I can't believe how sunny it is. I'm so happy. Alrighty guys, just got out of that little appointment. They were like swatching stuff on me. They're basically just like they launched their new fast face system which I posted on my IGTV so if you guys want to see like a really easy quick makeup look check that out. Testing like shades on me um, for their website to kind of help like figure out different people's shades and help with customers and stuff because obviously when you launch like especially for a first foundation I feel like that's so hard to figure out all the shades and helping your customers find their shades so I think that's they were trying to do all right guys i got definitely a drive ahead of me there's a ton of traffic right now so i'm not gonna get home until right before five and i gotta leave my house at like 6 30 so <laughs> For the most part it's definitely still a little messy my office needs to be worked on and i'm trying to build this freaking shelf i have to leave like right now because there's actually more traffic than i realized to get to my meeting tonight um and there's no videos online on how to build it so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that i might have kyle come help me one weekend when he can because once that rack is built over there, then I can hang like my Halloween outfit ideas and then I have a haul coming soon so I can get all those clothes hung up on there because right now they're just like 
thrown in here to be separated from my normal clothes. So I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I feel like I've vlogged like a lot today. I told you in my last vlog, my Dallas vlog, that I forgot to show you the shoes that I got in Dallas and they're really special to me. So I wanted to show you guys in this vlog and I think you'll appreciate it. So my aunt and I, every time I'm in Dallas, we go to this consignment shop called Vintage Martini. It is literally the best consignment shop ever. I go there every single time I'm in Dallas. And my theory is because it's located in a very nice, wealthy, hip area of Dallas. But I just can't understand why their prices are so reasonable. Like, I feel like a lot of consignment is like, yeah, you're still getting it for a lower price, but it's still like super high priced. And they also have like a whole vintage section. And even their vintage section is priced pretty well for what you're getting. They have a huge selection. Every time I go, I find something. Best things in consignment is always the shoes. And shoes are a little bit harder to find because obviously you need like the exact size. The selection's a lot smaller than like clothes. You do find shoes. I feel like those are so much better than finding like one really cool shirt because you might not wear that shirt as much as you're gonna wear shoes so luckily on this day I found two pairs of shoes these are the first sneakers that I found they are Christian Dior white little sneakers they look like little converse and they have like the gold detailing and then it says the Christian Dior all through the laces and then it's just like a nice white chunky sneaker it says Christian Dior on the back they're almost like a creamy color like they're an off white and then the bottoms have like these stars on it which I think is really cool and also I'm pretty positive these shoes aren't like that old or vintage these are actually quite new and I got these for way cheaper than what the original price was. The original price was like $1,500 and I got these for a fraction of that price. So I'm so happy with these. Then the second pair of shoes, like even more excited because these are completely different. These are these Gucci gold little sandal heels and this style is so trendy right now. And I'm pretty positive these are definitely like an older style. They're just these gold little shoes. They have the Gucci G's. And I'm not really like a Gucci girl, but these are so cool and I feel like because they are vintage, they just have like a really cool style to them. I wore these in Dallas with like plain boyfriend jeans and a little like white tank. So cute. Like you can wear these so many different ways and I know I'm gonna have both of these shoes in my closet forever. They're like both huge staples, but they're also both completely different from each other, so... Anyways, I'm gonna be late and I don't want to be late because my mom is my boss tonight and I gotta go. So I'm gonna throw on my shoes, get going for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in my life of vlog. Um, I could continue on and on and on, but I'll just start vlogging more if you guys enjoy this. So let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell to be notified every time I post because sometimes YouTube doesn't want to tell you that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.